Hey guys, this is Zippor Designs for Noble Desktop, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a dissolve transition in Adobe After Effects. So we'll be starting with a shape layer on this project, then cutting a few holes in it with some masks. We'll animate those masks expanding outwards, then create an adjustment layer with a few effects on it to make it look like the circles are combining as they grow. Finally, we'll actually apply the finished transition effect with the mat. So you can see this is what the project looks like when done. And uh, yeah, we're going to be making everything ourselves pretty much, so you can use any two pieces of your own footage. And if uh, you've been following the channel, so we've been doing a, a couple of these transition effects on this channel already, um, so you may have heard this explanation, but a transition effect essentially allows us to disguise our jump cuts when editing scenes together and guide the viewer's eyes towards what you want them to see, or away from what you don't. This transition, or wipe in particular, thematically fits with any project that has a lot of, uh, like, an industrial feel to it. Some transitions have a few more steps in their creation, but this one's just pretty simple. You can get it running in, like, no time at all. So yeah, let's get started. So as you can see, we've got our two pieces of footage here. I'm actually going to rename them. Let's say, um, screen A, and let's rename this one to screen B. And the first thing that we're going to be doing is make a new solid. So go up to layer, new solid. It really doesn't matter the color. Uh, name it dissolve layer. I'm going to change my color from white just because um, I associate white mostly with backgrounds. There we go. It's kind of a soft blue. And then we're going to grab the shape tool over here and click and drag till you get the ellipse tool. And now what you're going to be doing is draw out a couple of circles. So it's just clicking and dragging. I'm going to do like four of these. And the size doesn't really matter. Try to vary them, basically. So then we're going to toggle open all of these guys. We're going to look for an option called expansion. You can see it right here. In fact, I want to make this um, a little neater. And you can see I typed in, like started to type in mask expansion over here. Um, and that allowed me to you know, like, like isolate the properties that I'm going to be uh, animating. Okay, so let's start animating this. So I'm going to put my playhead at like 15 frames in about. I'm going to select all of these mask expansions. Yes, yes. Hit that stopwatch on all of them to start keyframing. And the first thing that we want to put down is negative 255. That's because we're going to want this to go from basically being invisible to growing and growing and growing till it overtakes the screen. So a few seconds in, maybe like two seconds in, um, I'm going to change it to positive 300. So now you can see it's pretty much covering the screen. I actually want it to grow even more. So let's put it at like 430. There you go. So the whole screen. So the whole screen is like covered in this color. Now we want to offset some of these animations so they move at different rates. So like click and drag a couple of them like out of uh, out of place. Maybe like, you know, slide them to closer together, you know, to taste. So select all those keyframes and right click on any of those selected keyframes and hit over to uh, keyframe assistant. Easy ease. So check it out so far. Woo! Just expands into a whole solid of uh, that purpley blue. Okay, now we're going to be doing uh, something that'll make it look like they're actually like blobbing into each other. And we're going to be making um, an adjustment layer and creating what's called a metaball effect. And we actually have a tutorial on how to do that. Um, we can link it below in the description um, if you're interested on how to make that work uh, just on its own. So create a new adjustment layer. We're going to rename this to metaball effect. And I misspelled effect. Let's go over to effects and presets. And we're going to be applying a couple of uh, effects to the adjustment layer now. If you're not familiar with adjustment layers, basically an adjustment layer is kind of like an umbrella layer. Everything applied to the adjustment layer affects everything under, uh, under it. Okay, the first thing that I want you guys to put in is Gaussian blur. So let's put that down. Doesn't matter which one. Simple choker. You may have seen me typing it before. And the last thing I want you to put down is rough and edges, which I know is a little bit counterintuitive, but it will make sense. So the first thing is we're going to want actually move the player to where you can see the circles together. Um, you know, so you can see what the effect is looking like. So set the blurriness here to 45 and the simple choker to 50 and the rough and edges border to point to. And I'm gonna explain why, because the Gaussian blur blurs it. The uh, simple choker um, constrains that blur. And so as they expand, they'll kind of like meld into each other. 
Now, the roughen edges is a bit strange, but basically roughen edges can either roughen your edges or it can simplify them. It can smooth them down, uh, which I know is a little bit counterintuitive, but that's what it does. Okay, so now let's click on Mittable Effect and Dissolve Layer. Right click and make a pre-comp because we're going to be using this as a single layer. So Dissolve Transition. Great, I'm going to change the color of that to like orange. I don't like the sandstone that they give you automatically. And I know this looks pretty funky to start with, but we are going to select screen. Hmm. Let's actually put screen A above here. So now with screen A over here, we're going to hit track mat and we're going to put it on alpha inverted mat or inverted alpha mat, whichever you prefer. And let's play it back. Woo. All right. So it looks pretty good. There's just one thing. Um, <laughs> the scale is too small on the dissolves transition. That is a bit of a side effect with the metal balls effect effect, but all you got to do is select that uh, layer and let's size it up to like what? 115 maybe that should work. Nice. All right. So yeah, that's a dissolve transition. Perfect for any, like I said, urban or industrial theme project, maybe anything like, uh, with chemistry or honestly liquid would benefit from this kind of transition. It's only two layers. So it's like really easy to replicate. So yeah, try this out with different shapes like diamonds or the echo effect. You can even make concentric circles by duplicating your uh, dissolve layer a couple of times. That's all for this tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed learning how to make your own dissolve transition in Adobe After Effects. If you have any questions or suggestions for future tutorials, let us know in the comments. Tell us about any projects you're working on or uh, any topics you'd like us to cover. This has been Zipara Zines for Noble Desktop.